So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a new product we just put on our website a couple days ago, and it is heat transfer, printable heat transfer. How many people have used anything similar to that? If they've done projects where they wanted to print and then iron it onto a shirt, if you've done a project like that or if you've wanted to, let us know. So you can use any inkjet printer. It doesn't matter what type of inkjet, you just can't use a laser printer. So any inkjet printer. And you want to make sure that you set it to um, the best print quality or a higher print quality than just the normal one. And you can kind of see what it does when you don't. It was running out of ink right there too, but it gets lines in it when you don't do the pr best print quality. And this one, you can see it doesn't have the lines in it. When you're ready to use it, it does take a higher temperature. It's um, 374, 374 degrees. So if you've got a heat press that goes up to 374, set your heat press to that, or your iron at your highest setting. And we've got all the instructions on our website. Once you print on it, then you do need to remove it from the sheet. So you may wanna be careful on how um, detailed your image is. If you've got a lot of detail in it, you may want to steer away from that or do something a little blockier. But you can see this still has a lot of detail in it and the cutouts, so you can still do some fun projects this way. So we'll go over to the heat press. So this is just an HP NB, and you can use any inkjet printer. It doesn't have to be an HP, it can be whatever. So I've already pre-pressed this onesie, and I'm just gonna put this little decal on the front right there and then I'm just using our multi-use paper and on the multi-use paper you want to make sure you use this shiny side of it and that goes right down on top and then you press it on the higher heat um, the 374 which mine dropped a tiny bit but and then for 12 seconds Oh, and I have a pillow underneath mine to compensate for all the seams in the onesie. So now you want to wait until this cools down to peel it off. That's one thing that's a little different than regular vinyl. You want to wait to peel even just this cover sheet off. So it cools just a tiny bit, but that one should. It looks like it's okay. And there you go. How cute is that? Cute little onesie. And it's so fun if you want that little extra touch to it, patterns to whatever you're making. It washes great. We've had one that we've washed several times, washing and drying it, and it's it's done great. It, we do have some care instructions on the website as well, so just follow all of that for the cutting and the care instructions on it. Multi-use paper, there's two sides to it. The shiny side, and then it's got kind of the dull side. You want to use the shiny side if you're using the multi-use paper. Or you can use parchment paper and that will work as well. You do not print in reverse. You print just the way that it looks here. Let me grab the sheet again. This is exactly how it came out of the printer for these. So then once you print it and cut it, you just peel it off and stick it on your... Just set it up with the registration marks as a print then cut and then send it to your printer to print it and then right to your machine to cut it. And you'll want, if you're doing multiple sheets, they tend to kind of stick to each other a little bit, so you just want to feed one sheet at a time. You don't want to put a stack of this in your printer because it could get, could get stuck to each other or just, they'll stick to each other. You want to feed it one, one at a time. But again, that's all in our instructions on the website with it. So again, if you've got any other questions, leave them below and we'll get to those. And don't forget to order while well, it's in stock right now. So hopefully everybody has a good day. Bye.